Hello, I'm Liz McKeown, beauty business expert, and I am so excited um, to be joining Prosper on the online prosperity show. And um, just if you have a business and you would like to double or treble your profits within the next six months, then this little interview is an absolute must for you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the beauty business expert herself, Lise McKeon. Lise, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing really well and um, thank you for inviting me. It's my pleasure to be here. Absolutely. All, all the way from Ireland. <laughs> uh, the city that's the biggest in the world, apparently from world records, because Dublin is always doubling, right? That's right, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Obviously, um, Liz here is a business beauty expert, all right? And her speciality is bringing profitability to the hair, beauty, and spa industry. And she has been dubbed in Dublin as the go-to business person um, for a business development in hair, beauty, and spa industry. And she's actually recognized as a world leader within her field. Now, her passion lies around um, you know, clients in the hair, beauty, and spa industry so that they can grow their business and harness the full potential of their opportunities. If you're watching in the audience right now, you might know somebody or you might actually be in the hair, beauty, and spa industry and trying to figure out how you can bring profitability to your business. Now, that's why I've brought you the expert, Liz, who's going to give us the skinny of how it actually works out. Now, Liz, thank you so much for your time here. Tell us a little bit about how you got started um, in this industry and how you rose up to the ranks up until you got to be the go-to person, um, you know, in the business development of this industry uh, per se. Um, well, before I started doing what I do now, and I'm working as the business expert for about 10 years, and prior to that, I'd had... Um, I'd have my own businesses along the way. I had a health club, I had a beauty salon, I had day spas, um, and I had various businesses. And when they went well, that was great. When they weren't going so well, it was very hard to find help. So if I took on a business consultant or accountants or people to help me through the tough times, um, I found I spent a lot of time telling them how our industry worked. And there was nobody in our industry to help. And as you know, business doesn't, isn't, doesn't go in a straight line all the time. It goes up and it goes down. And there's times you just need a bit of hand-holding, you need a bit of help. And it was very, very hard to get that. And I think when you're working in a small business, you're a little bit like in your own little bubble. And um, you don't actually understand that other people are, have the same difficulties at times that you have. And how this business came about was one day my, my skincare rep, the lady from, you know, the business development person from the skincare company actually said to me one day, Liz, I really wish you would start teaching other people to do what it is that you do. And I said to her, why does everybody not do what I do? And she said, no, Liz, nobody runs a business in this industry the way you run it. And I suppose that was after 20 years of getting it wrong, getting it right, going from one thing to the next thing. And um, I just decided, OK, right, I'm going to give up salon work and uh, and do this so i trained as a coach and then i trained as a trainer and um yeah the rest is history then i just started going into salons and spas looking at how well they were doing i seem to have a good instinct about what the potential in the business is and then i work with people trying to take them from where they are to where they could possibly be so that's it in in the in the short version absolutely and thank you so much for that story um, in and of itself, um, obviously you came in and now you are helping people in something that you're actually passionate about. So in you working, um, you know, throughout all this time, what do you yeah. find um, is the biggest problem or the biggest frustrations that people that are in your industry are facing if your business did not exist? Um, if my business wasn't there to help people, um, well, I think people just struggle too much because the problems that I see come stem from the fact that people are 
technically brilliant. So they're very good hairdressers, they're very good beauty therapists, very good makeup artists, very good nail technicians. And because they love what they do, they love the technical work and they're very passionate about that. Then they open up a business, not understanding that you wear a completely separate hat and that you wear, you, you know, you're taking on a whole other role when you open up a business. So then you've got to become a manager and then you've also got to understand the principles of being an entrepreneur and being a business owner. And I find most of the time people are so entrenched in doing the hands-on technical work that they forget to take care of their business and don't understand or maybe perhaps going into business totally underestimate um, the amount of care and attention that a business actually needs and um, that you've got to learn how to run a business. It isn't just about continuing to do the hair. You do that when you're an employee. But when you become the owner of, of a small to medium sized business, then you've got to learn to run the business. And I think that's what I bring to it because I've never, over the last 10 years, I've worked with thousands and thousands of people, but I've never met anybody who, did, who had a problem that I hadn't had personal experience of myself. So I think that's the biggest issue that people go into business underestimating how how difficult it is to actually run a business. Business is very, very tough. And I think people have got to learn to understand that, that when they're opening up a business, they've got to allocate time and energy and effort to learning how to run a business and then being prepared to make that more of a priority than the technical work. Absolutely. So if, so if I wasn't there, I don't know where people go to. Or they were like me years ago. Where do you go to? There's nobody else in the industry with that sort of background. Absolutely. There's one thing about, um, you know, bringing a horse to the water for it to drink. Do people actually acknowledge that they have this problem or do they think people are just going to come because I'm really good at cutting hair or I'm really good at coloring the hair? My work will proceed or my work will talk uh, for me. No, I think people totally underestimate what's involved and no, they don't acknowledge this at all. Um, and starting off my business, I found, I found it quite difficult to, to launch this business 10 years ago because nobody was waking up in the morning saying, I need Liz McKeown. Um, and people didn't know I was there, didn't know that my services existed. And that took a long time because unlike any other business I'd ever had, I was marketing from a creating a need perspective as opposed to prior to that people were looking to get their legs waxed or looking to get a facial or something like that but when i started this it was business to business as opposed to business to consumer and it was creating a need so the need i could see that the need was there from my own personal experience and from understanding the industry but yeah but people don't actually understand that they need what i do absolutely i yeah. do I yeah. Do, yeah if that makes sense no, no, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. The reason why I asked that question is I'm also a marketing consultant. And yeah. um, when I do reach out people, especially maybe in your industry or people that work in handy type work, they yeah. always tell you that word of mouth has always been good for me and people are always just going to come through. But, you know, the market is now saturated and people, can, you know, really do want to do business with those they know, like, and trust. And you got to create that within the business. Yes, you have to. Great. Yes. No. Yeah. In yeah. in all this time, Liz, um, I have gotten to understand that you've created some set of resources that people can actually uh, plug into. Even some some are paid for and some are free. Let us know about some of the stuff that you help. Um, you know these people uh, to be profitable in the hair and beauty spa industry. Okay. So most of my work revolves around. Um, building little systems and little processes to enable people to become more profitable. And very often in a hair and beauty salon, people don't actually realize the potential, the financial potential of their business. And when they do understand the financial potential, they still may not know how to get from where they are um, to where they need to be. So um, I started off 10 years ago, literally just going into salons on a one-to-one -one basis, helping people to turn their businesses around. From that, I recognized that I've seen the same difficulties everywhere. So I started to develop workshops. So, um, so then people could come, could come to my events and then they could network with other business owners. So I continue to, to, to provide both those services. So I do on-site work and I run, I run um, business courses, which I hope to be taking to Australia fairly soon. And but from there, I also realized, well, I was trying to make it easy all the time for people to access my material. Then I began to realize, okay, for me to go on site into a business can be expensive. 
then the, the difficulty with getting people to leave their salons to come to workshops, maybe they haven't got the time. So from there, I started to develop online courses. So I now have a range of online courses, ranging from very small little webinars, about you know, you know, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes long, right through to my big project, which is called the Beauty Business Success Blueprint, which is um, a huge online course. It's 10 hours of video. It's 300 pages of workbook where people can actually develop the business side of their business. So I give them every template that they need um, around staffing, around marketing, around customer service, dealing with complaints, um, taking care of themselves, not getting too stressed, um, identifying the money. So it's everything that they need. So I recommend that people just, it's six modules and that people do one module a month and build their own operations manual. So that is the biggest online course that I have that's accessible to people anywhere in the world. Um, so they're the course there. That's what I sell. Oh, I also have a book. Um, let me show you my book, 30 Days to Beauty Business Success. So I, I wrote my book in 2015. And again, that's a huge resource that people can just pick up and just um, just check into every so often. Um, then I also have um, CDs. So people can actually play my CDs in their car, like how to increase their retail sales. Um, I wrote the book and then the book is available on Amazon and Kindle, but it's also available. I recorded it so we, we can sell it to you. Um, in, in an audio version. So I try and make my material as accessible as possible. And even if people just want to try out what I do, I then have a lot of free material on my website. And I really, really encourage people to use this. For example, I say at workshops, you're just not using me enough. You have to use me more. You keep using me, just keep using me. So I have blogs and blogs and blogs, all this material that I've been accumulating over the years. So any problem that you have, I have an answer to it. So please, please, please use me an awful lot more. So I've stacks and stacks of blogs and continue to put out new information. So any little problem that you have, go onto my website, the answer is there. I have a business health check. Again, this is completely free. I have a business health check on the homepage of my website. So you can just come on. And even if you're just getting to come to terms with your business, um, you come onto my website, do your health check and see what areas of your business you might need to improve. So you might be very good at marketing, but maybe not that good with the management of people or whatever. So I have a business health check. I also have a free ebook and I also have a free podcast series. So I have lots of free material there for people to just tap into. And then last year in 2016, I got very brave and I hired um, a TV company and I made a TV program. And the, the program is called the 200 pound salon turnaround. And it was based in England, in the UK. So I took a salon and said I would double its profits in two weeks for 200 pounds. So, um, so this blueprint that I'm talking about is actually the answers. It's all the, it's all the processes that I used in the TV program. And am I allowed to give away kind of the, well, I'm going to give away what happened in the TV program. Absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead. Double the profits. I actually increased the profits 12 times within two weeks for less than 200 pounds. So, um, so that was really saying, look, what I do works. So watch my TV program, read my blogs, download my health check get my free ebook. And if you're interested in all that, then move on to the paid resources like the blueprint, my small webinars, buy the book and build up your business material. Because um, this has taken me 10 years to develop all this material, but I developed it because it wasn't there when I was running a business. So it's there for people just to use, take, implement and make your life so much easier. I don't know any, I don't know about you, but I don't know any entrepreneur that sleeps at night if they're worrying about their bank balance. Um, Absolutely. Which I love doing my hair or nails or beauty. If I can't, if I'm worrying about money, I can't sleep. I can't be at my best with my staff. I can't enjoy my life. I can't be at my best with my clients. So the money is actually much more important than a lot of entrepreneurs in the hair and beauty industry are prepared to admit. But if you get the money right, then your life is so much better. So, um, yeah, so use me. It's all there. It's all developed. And it's very um, user friendly. All my material is very accessible. Um, I think I get good results in salons because I speak the language. You know, I, I worked the industry for 20 years before I moved into this work. So, um, yeah, so people say, how, but how do people, um, why do people do what you say? And it's, it's because I speak their language. And the customers who work with me get amazing results. Um, 
yeah, I had somebody last week who, who contacted me to say she won Young Entrepreneur of the Year in Ireland. Nobody's ever, nobody from our industry has ever won that before. Wow. Um, yeah, so my customers get amazing, amazing, amazing results. So what I do works, but people have to put in the work. They've got to take the material, learn it, read it, implement it, and use it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, does that give you an idea? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Thank you so much for that, Liz. I mean, absolutely. If you're watching this show right now, you would, um, you know, be grateful that Liz is actually, you know, giving us all these resources that are designed to help you uh, bring profitability to your hair, beauty, and spa um, industry right there. Now, you know, people might really now be sitting on the edge and figuring out how can we use please and how can we best find her so we can use either the resources or use her for us to have businesses that are profitable and actually enjoy working in them mm -hmm. so it's my name i've built my business my is my brand name is my name so it's liz McKeown. so all anybody ever has to do is just google me and, and we're there so my web address is liz com. so it's l-i-z m-c-k-e-o-n Dot com. It's, it's that simple. Just Google us and join us on Facebook, please. We have a Facebook community page. So I um, love salon owners to join me because being a salon owner can be a bit, a little bit lonely and a little bit isolating. So we now have a, a community page where people can ask one another questions and interact and we put out little videos there every week and all sorts of things. So um, yeah, so join us on Facebook and, or, and look us up on the website. It's Absolutely. that easy. I can't Absolutely. make it any easier. The only thing <laughs> I can't do is do the work for you. So you've got to do your do the work. Absolutely. You have yeah. done tremendously well back, both in your background and today on the show. Um, and those that are watching the show right now, obviously you really want to reach out to Liz. And if you're going to be looking her up on Google, be sure to pack a lunch because she has a lot of stuff that is on there. Um, her being the co-presenter of the 200 pound saloon 10 around TV program. That's well worth a watch because she did get tremendous results from there. And she's also on the guest slot on the business. I radio program on entrepreneurship. And she's also like, she's mentioned author of a best selling industry book, 30 days uh, to beauty business success that you can actually read in your own spare time and CDs that you can, um, you know, listen to while you are to and fro uh, your place of work right there. Now, look at this, Liz. We all know we're turning over the year and uh, some people that probably started at the beginning of the year are not going to be on the startup, um, startup line for 2018 because statistics do say that a lot of businesses, um, you know, fail short in the first year, in the five years, 95% don't really make it on to the next year. But programs like yours are, you know, you know, designed to help people be profitable within their business. What sort of advice would you give somebody who's either going to be starting, um, you know, in 2018 or are already on their way, but they're not quite sure how to, you know, maximize on whatever they are already doing, or they're not really getting that much profit within their business? I think we've all got to recognize our own limitations. And I think we're all happy when we're doing what we love and what we enjoy. So I'm very much a believer in if whatever my limitations are to find the help I need um, around me. And I think when you're starting off in business, you need two teams. If you're going to be employing people, you need your internal team. So they're your people that are going to help you do the work, do, you know, do the hair, do the, do the nails or whatever, whatever your business is. So I think you need a very strong team, only ever employ the best. In fact, I think employ people who are not as good as you employ people who are better than you. Um, so I think your internal team is very important, but I also think your external team is crucial. So you need um, a really good accountant who's going to take an interest in your business. You need a mentor. You need me, <laughs> but uh, you know, somebody who can help you. Um, you may you might need a HR company to outsource your HR or your, your, your all your recruitment to. So I think you have your internal team, but I think you also have your external team, your support team that are there to point you in the right direction. So if your money isn't right, they're able to point that out to you. They may not know how to fix it within our industry, but they, but they will keep you on track. I think you need a mentor to give you a little bit of hand holding. Um, I think join a networking group so you meet other other business owners. Um, I think outsource like your bookkeeping, whatever the things you're not good at, and you've still got to stay in control of them. 
you still got to know what's going on. But I think surround yourself with the best help that you can get. Um, yeah, that, that's always my advice. Stop trying to do it all yourself because you can't. Absolutely. I don't think there'll be any advice better than that because as the wise people say, you're an average of the five people you surround yourself with. So if you're going to be creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable in the beauty um, uh, and spa industries there, you're going to need a business coach. You're going to need a trainer. You're going to need a mentor, somebody with an extraordinary track record and transforming businesses like Liz McKeon here and it is not uncommon for saloons and like what she has said that their profits are tripling in six months after just working with her and why not you why not in the next year so I will be putting in all the information right at the bottom so that you can um, jump on board and find out some of those resources that she's mentioned that you can actually start using so that you too can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Liz, I can't thank you enough for your time, your knowledge and your expertise on the show today. And I really, really wish you compliments of the season. Oh, likewise. Thank you very much. I, I really enjoyed it. And yes, happy Christmas to you too. Absolutely. Thank you.